Okay. This is how God wants me to explain this and what's going down. These recordings I made today, make yourself a nice little video with some of these hits that I have on this, my playlist. And we need to get it around the world. We need everyone to know what I have said today. And I want this to be known to the world. God has taken and appointed world leaders. He has given them instructions as to exactly how he wants the world to be handled from here on out. They will not be perfect. They will trip and fall. However, the whole world will be going in the same direction for once. And these leaders are appointed by God with a chain of command that God is anointed. So all you need to do is know that God's got this and have faith that given five, ten years, hopefully not twenty, that the world is just going to be the best it's ever been. Will it be that on Christmas Day? It'll have its best foot forward. That is all about the Great Reset. But let's be honest, people. This is one effed up world. There is neglect everywhere. There's infrastructure that is totally piss pot poor. There are still children that are starving. There are still people without housing. There are still people trying to find jobs. So will we have this fixed by New Year's Day? No, we will not. By St. Patrick's Day? Not. But we're going to be a whole lot better than we are today. And every day, it will get better. And more achievements will happen. More hills will be conquered. More people will have a house and a bed and clothing and food in their belly and a job. So everyone on the planet have patience and know that God has finally got the whole world going in the right direction. Give him a minute. He has structured this and everything that's going on to turn the truck around. Let's let him get a few miles on it. All right. After all, we've gone the wrong direction for a long, long, long time. Greed has ruled the world for far too long. But it was a necessity. It's how we have this infrastructure built the way it is. And how God was planning his ultimate takeover. The ultimate coup. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Like I said, how many of you thought fire and brimstone on judgment? That's a, I know that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking, oh man, these people are going to pay. Oh, I'm going to go where there ain't no fireballs coming down because I know I ain't going to get one. But <laughs> <laughs> This has been his ultimate plan all along. take back the wealth of the world and to restore his church and to pass judgment against those that have been doing bad. That has been what I was about. St. Patrick, your second king, his second son, in the second coming. May our force always be with you.